Within the vaults of history, there lies a mystery so profound, it has confounded the wise and the curious for centuries. A manuscript written in an unknown language, adorned with enigmatic illustrations, has resisted the relentless advances of time and intellect. Its name, the Voynich Manuscript. In the depths of history's greatest enigmas, few can rival the allure and mystery of the Voynich Manuscript. A book shrouded in secrecy, it whispers of ancient wisdom in a language that defies understanding. With each turn of its perplexing pages, you confront a world where cryptic script and inexplicable illustrations challenge your understanding. This is not merely a relic of the past. It is a living puzzle that beckons you to decipher its secrets. Discovered in 1912 by the antiquarian Wilfred Voynich, this cryptic tome dates back to the 15th century. Its pages are a labyrinth of unknown script, paired with bizarre illustrations, ranging from unfamiliar plants to astronomical charts. The narrative of the Voynich manuscript is as much a journey through time as it is through the unknown. Once held in the hands of alchemists and kings, its elusive content has baffled the brightest minds. From medieval scholars to modern cryptographers, many have attempted to unlock its secrets, yet it remains an uncrackable cipher. The manuscript has also been a magnet for conspiracy theories and speculative fiction. Some proclaim it a window to other worlds or a manual of forbidden knowledge, while others dismiss it as a sophisticated hoax. However, in the realm of scientific endeavor, the manuscript is not just an artifact, but a challenge. Cutting-edge technology, including artificial intelligence and spectral imaging, has been enlisted in the quest to reveal its hidden truths. Dating back to the 15th century, the enigmatic Voynich manuscript has long perplexed and enticed scholars, linguists and history enthusiasts. This elusive and undeciphered relic, much like a literary mirage of sorts, evokes an aura of enigma and mystery. Over its storied existence, the Voynich manuscript changed several hands, traversing centuries and captivating the imagination of many. The urge to understand this enigmatic book, as we delve deeper into its many layers, uncovers an intricate web of artistry, science and speculation. First discovered in 1912 by the remarkable book dealer Wilfred Voynich, the manuscript's distinct features quickly fascinated scholars and bibliophiles alike. Its physical composition is a testament to the expertise and craftsmanship of its age. Measuring 23.5 x 16.2 x 5 centimeters, the manuscript's 240 pages are constructed from calfskin parchment, boasting an exquisite smoothness. Intriguingly, the vellum itself bears no visible defects or pockmarks, a testament to the meticulous preparation of this enigmatic work. The calligraphic handwriting, executed in a strikingly dark brown ink, coats both sides of each sheet. It's believed that the seamless quality of the vellum could indicate a date range as early as 720, however. Traditionally accepted dating places emphasize the 15th century as the manuscript's origin. The significant hallmark of this timeless conundrum lies in its prose or potentially code. This so-called Voynichese, so intricate and confoundingly distinct, has remained stubbornly cryptic. Its alphabet shares no resemblance to known linguistic systems, defying attempts at direct translation. Linguists and cryptographers alike have been stymied by the impenetrable barrier of its language. In their tireless quest to unravel its mysteries, they've attempted methods ranging from pattern analysis to cross-referencing with known scripts, all in vain. Despite the vast strides made in understanding ancient texts and languages through rigorous comparative analysis, the Voynichese script remains an unsolved enigma. This is not simply a matter of missing pieces, the jigsaw itself defies conventional understanding. However, the prose's uniqueness isn't its sole allure. The manuscript is also adorned with intricate illustrations that have both delighted and tantalized those seeking to comprehend its purpose. These lavish depictions, often accompanied by a script in the margins, offer a multifaceted glimpse into the worlds of botany, biology, and the cosmos. Yet, as varied as these illustrations are, they align with no known realm of knowledge or observation, leaving researchers to ponder their intentions. Consistent across the entire text 
is the utter testament to the author's dedication and expertise in depicting the natural world, as the work is imbued with such intricate detail that it might as well have been a loving tribute. Throughout its journey across time, the Voynich manuscript has crossed paths with a remarkable chorus of historical figures, each leaving a resonant mark on its enigmatic legacy. Its known provenance begins with the enigmatic Emperor Rudolf II, the Holy Roman Empire, who's believed to have acquired the manuscript for the princely sum of 600 ducats during the late 16th century. His passion for both natural sciences and alchemy aligns intriguingly with the esoteric knowledge contained within the manuscript. It's in Rudolf's court that we find the elusive connection to the renowned scientific mind, alchemist and physician John Dee, who served as one of his most trusted advisors. It's a thread that adds an air of historical intrigue, as Dee's belief in the power of ancient magical teachings. To unlock the secrets of the universe resonates deeply with the esoteric allure of this curious manuscript. Following Rudolf II's reign, the manuscript's trail goes cold for several hundred years, only to re-emerge in the hands of the illustrious rare book and manuscript collector, Athanasius Kircher, in 1665. In 1665, the erudite Kircher, known for his wide-ranging interests and extensive correspondence with scholars of his time, was given the task of deciphering this enigmatic script. Evidence of this lies in the 1666 letter from Johannes Marcus Marcy to Kircher, newly surfaced to modern eyes. Marcy, a close friend and confidant of Emperor Rudolf II, shared both frustration and intrigue in equal parts, lamenting the inscrutability of the manuscript's content, urging Kircher, his mentor, to apply his considerable intellect to an endeavor that had stymied all before him. This letter, resurfacing after centuries, is a testament to the enduring allure of the Voynich manuscript across generations, and its knack for ensnaring the minds of even the most brilliant scholars, not just in its time, but for ages to come. Fast forward to the early 20th century, and it's the industrious and enterprising Wilfred Voynich who brings the manuscript into the light of public interest. His discovery of the manuscript in an Italian Jesuit college is the stuff of legend and forms the modern chapter in the Voynich manuscript's journey. Yet even in the contemporary era, the manuscript's allure continues to captivate, with bids for its elusive secrets continuing to this day. One cannot attempt to fathom the depths of this enigma without acknowledging the intransigence of the Voynich manuscript's language. Over the centuries, an intriguing subset of history's greatest linguistic minds have attempted to tackle this Gordian knot of tangled phrases and symbols, only to find themselves frustrated and confounded. This script, known as Voynichese, not only defies categorization into any known linguistic family, but even the most basic understanding of its alphabet remains elusive. Letter frequencies, one of the essential tools in deciphering ancient languages, prove as mercurial as shadow, offering irregular patterns that mirror no known systems. Cryptographers and linguists, in all their wisdom and prowess, have encountered an immovable object in this unique language, leading some to inevitably ponder whether it might be a linguistic construct beyond our earthly realm. Attributing to the frustration is the visceral allure of Voynichese, a string of beautifully interwoven letters dripping with the unknown. Yet it is this very design that has foiled the efforts of generations who have attempted to crack its code. Sound comparisons, while often a reliable approach in deciphering unknown scripts, serve as whispers in the tempest when confronted with Voynichese. The absence of a deciphered Rosetta Stone a key that might unlock the meaning behind these hauntingly beautiful letters, grieves the Academy and rekindles an exhilarating mystery for our time. Peering beneath the veil of the Voynician cipher, one is privy to a world of unparalleled visual symbolism. The visually striking illustrations scattered throughout the manuscript are a testament to the human drive to comprehend and chronicle the world around us. Divided into distinctive sections, these depictions offer curious glimpses into the realms of botany, astronomy, biology, and more, woven with a seemingly intentional air of enigma. The manuscript's herbal section is a particularly intriguing domain, bridging the disconnect between the known and the enigmatic. 
Displayed in these pages are more than 100 elegantly rendered botanical specimens, distinctly hermetic in their nature. While many of these plant-like forms bear a surface resemblance to known species, their subtle deviations have confounded botanists. The sense of familiarity mingling with the unfamiliar adds to the manuscript's enigmatic allure. Even more beguiling are the astronomical diagrams, evocative of celestial dance, but aligned with no known patterns of stars and spheres. It's as if the heavens themselves have whispered secrets into the manuscript, only to shroud them in the twilight of enigma. The ingenuity and precision that went into these celestial depictions are evident and utterly captivating to those who dare to unravel their meaning. Concealment is a recurring theme throughout the Voynich manuscript, and one can argue that it doesn't simply adhere to the realm of words and symbols. The way it eludes classification and resists interpretation is akin to a masterful art of self-hiding. And yet, it lures us ever closer, beckoning with its secrets and seducing with the promise of understanding untold realms of ancient knowledge and myth. The theories and speculations surrounding the Voynich manuscript are as diverse and enigmatic as the manuscript itself, ushering us into a labyrinth of possibilities and puzzlement. It exists at the crossroads of alchemical enigma, botanical mystery, and cryptographic intrigue. Clerics, painters, scribes, geniuses of old have been hailed as its possible creators. Some speculate it might be a product of a collaborative effort a living library housing an archival of cosmology, human history, and biology crowned with artistic eminence, both literal and metaphorical. Others propose diverse and mystifying possibilities, including an elaborate scientific hoax or even extraterrestrial origins. The palpable resonance of alchemical lore and symbolism contained within its pages can't be overlooked. If we peer through the tunnel of alternative history, we encounter theories that Leonardo da Vinci, the fabled polymath, could have inscribed its pages. His relentless curiosity and insatiable drive to understand the world may have birthed an oeuvre that pushes the boundaries of science, art, and hidden knowledge. However, these narratives remain mired in uncertainty, perpetuating the age-old conundrum of this ancient manuscript. It's almost as if the Voynich manuscript revels in eschewing definitive conclusions, its whispered mysteries weaving a seductive dance that defies resolution. For many, the Voynich manuscript has transcended the realm of scholarly pursuit to become a tantalizing subject of conspiracy theories and popular culture. It has been hailed as a communicator of lost knowledge, secrets stolen from the celestial cafeteria of the gods. In the depths of conspiracy lore, whispers paint the manuscript as the product of a clandestine group called the Illuminati, charting alchemical knowledge and medical secrets beyond the grasp of public enlightenment. The elusive symbols and cryptic passages seem to beckon not only to scholars but also to those who thrive on the allure of the unknown. The footprint of the Voynich manuscript extends far beyond esoteric corridors, finding fertile ground in the fields of popular culture. It has inspired literary and cinematic works that carry its enigmatic DNA into the imagination of wider audiences. Novels have woven its mysteries into thrilling narratives, and films have brought its alluring whispers to life, perpetuating the fascination with its timeless enigma. Pondering the enigma of the Voynich manuscript doesn't merely offer a window into a bygone age. It prompts introspection on the very nature of humanity's quest for knowledge. This pursuit transcends eras, languages, and ideologies binding individuals and communities across the tapestry of time in an unending quest to decrypt the secrets of a world that has enthralled and eluded us. The manuscript's enduring allure lies in its ability to both tantalize and frustrate, inviting us to dance with enigma while whispering that some treasures may be beyond the grasp of finite understanding. Modern science continues to cast its probing light on the age-old enigma of the Voynich Manuscript. Slews of cutting-edge techniques and technologies have been employed in an attempt to unravel this most enduring of mysteries. Spectral imaging, an innovative method that transcends the traditional constraints of the human eye, has offered tantalizing glimpses into the manuscript's hidden layers. 
This advanced imaging process, akin to peering through time itself, endeavors to reveal long-concealed details and curiosities, potentially unlocking new pathways to understanding its arcane script and enigmatic illustrations. Carbon dating, a venerable tool in the arsenal of historic inquiry, has also been called into service in efforts to unearth the manuscript's cryptic origins. These scientific methodologies underscore the scholarly community's unyielding fascination and dedication to the pursuit of comprehending the inscrutable. Yet, despite the impressive strides in scientific analysis, the Voynich manuscript, true to its enigmatic nature, continues to guard its secrets with stoic resilience. While these methods offer glimpses into the manuscript's complexities, one cannot help but wonder if, with the ever-evolving march of science, a breakthrough, maybe even in our lifetime, awaits us. Perhaps one day the veil that shields the Voynich manuscript's enigma from the world will be lifted, revealing a treasure trove of knowledge and wisdom that has casually eluded us for centuries. For almost a century, the Voynich manuscript has continued to bind generations of scholars, cryptographers, and treasure hunters in a collective dance with the unknown. This singular enigma, stretching across civilizations and epochs, serves as a testament to the enduring human spirit of curiosity and discovery. Its existence underscores the elementary human desire to plumb the depths of knowledge and to decipher the impenetrable, thereby pushing back the frontiers of our understanding. As the manuscript continues to whisper enigmas from its ancient pages, it leaves an indelible mark on the annals of both history and the human yearning for the unattainable.